Hi dancers, Jess here. Welcome back to the Whole Dancer YouTube channel. Thanks so much for tuning in again. Today, we're gonna chat about pre-class food. A common topic that comes up. A lot of times we think there are like specific things that are going to be the best options for pre-class. And yes, there are some things you might like to avoid uh, and some things that could actually benefit because they're easier to digest or they're gonna provide a lot of energy. So we'll talk about that today. Complex carbs are a great place to start and to sort of think about what you're eating pre-class. That would refer largely to like if you're doing a pre-class meal, maybe you're gonna have oatmeal before, but generally just oatmeal is not going to keep you satisfied for a long time. If you have oatmeal as your meal, make sure that you include some healthy fats, maybe some berries, things that are still easy to digest, but things that are also going to provide some very, very easily accessible sugars in order to power you through your classes and rehearsals. You might try some quinoa, which is a seed, but it also is a good source of carbs and protein, complete protein actually. You might have some brown rice and I would skip anything major in terms of vegetables, but maybe you'll have a little bit of protein with the brown rice so that you are sustaining, again, that satisfied feeling from your food as well. Some foods are more easily digested and are going to double as, as far as keeping you satisfied and full and easing digestion. So things like salmon are good options, sweet potatoes are a great option, eggs, and even applesauce, you're getting that sugar, but since in applesauce the apples are cooked, they're a little bit easier to digest than a raw apple would be. Raw apples are actually something that you might want to avoid because they can lead to some bloating. When you're thinking about eating between classes and rehearsals, keep things light. Never feel like you should be eating huge quantities even if you know you're going to be in rehearsal for a few hours. It's better to have little bits of food throughout. So, you know, if you get that five minute break on the hour, which you all should be getting, by having those little amounts of food, you're going to be able to work through the rehearsals without getting exhausted or feeling super tired. It's best to avoid any foods that might cause bloat. So that includes things like broccoli, cabbage, kale, cruciferous vegetables. They're all in that category. You might also like to av avoid apples. Uh, pears or plums. So those fruits, just because of the sugars that are in them, the sorbitol, the fructose, they can lead to a little bit heavier feeling and a feeling of bloat instead of a feeling of lightness. And I would also suggest avoiding overly salty foods because naturally you retain salt. It can make you feel bloated and puffy and just not super comfortable when you're in a leotard. On to the foods that you should eat. As I mentioned, all of those easily digestible foods are gonna be great for in-between classes, rehearsals, things like that. You might also eat some foods that are known to decrease bloating, make you feel light, sort of enhance that feeling of having a flat stomach and feeling like everything is moving smoothly. So those would include potassium-rich foods, bananas, avocados, kiwis, pistachios, and oranges. Probiotic-rich foods can also help you to feel more light, and ready to dance, things like sauerkraut, kimchi, those are powerful for digestion, and therefore they're gonna make things move more smoothly and make you feel like everything is moving inside of your body the way that it should be. Yogurt also might work for, for those of you who eat dairy. Asparagus and papaya are a fruit and a vegetable that lead to those feelings of lightness as well. Um, you wanna avoid any of the fruits and vegetables that are cruciferous. If you're looking for a beverage to give you energy or amp you up, peppermint tea is one of my favorites, as is ginger. They're both kind of like invigorating and make you feel, or they make me feel uh, energized, even though they don't actually contain any caffeine. So I think that they could be great ones to include as, you know, throughout rehearsal, if you're able to have that mug of tea or iced tea in the studio. Those are good options just for things that are gonna make you have a little bit of added energy without actually using caffeine. Caffeine, on the other hand, as I've talked about in other videos, can lead to some ups and downs with energy, leading to spikes and crashes the same way that artificial sugars can. 
Coffee also, because it can be a little bit of an irritant for our bow bowels or an irritant for our gut, it can lead to feelings of bloating as well. The, the acidity in coffee can also cause issues just because it does tend to irritate your system and can potentially cause bloating. I had a friend in dance who would refer to it as coffee belly. So I, she clearly was getting that irritated, bloated feeling after she had coffee before class. So as tempting as it is to use caffeine for that spike in energy, I would say to avoid it because as I've talked about before, it inevitably leads to the crash and it really is not um, the best source of sustained energy. And you can get that obviously from some of the fruits and vegetables that I discussed here for your pre-class food. So if you like this video, I would love if you gave it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from The Whole Dancer, definitely subscribe for, to the channel as that's going to be the best way to stay in the loop for new content. Uh, be sure to check out thewholedancer.com and while you're there, visit the program page for the Dancer's Best Body program. That program is going to be opening up again this September, so, so soon, and I can't wait to work with many of you as you work to reach your personal best dancer's body and reach your body goals. Thanks again so much for tuning in, and I will talk to you all soon.